In this video, we'll see how to set up the KDE desktop environment like GNOME with Mac OS style customization. And I think it's a really nice desktop environment because KDE is very flexible and the April Fool's Day, KDE and GNOME said that GNOME uh, is uh, true and uh, I think uh, this uh, is a joke but uh, I also think uh, it is a great idea uh, because uh, uh, KDE is a great desktop environment but it's uh, very complicated and sometimes uh, you get lost in tons and tons of uh, settings and uh, so in this video we'll see how to have the GNOME desktop environment we uh, won't use uh, third party tools there are also many projects on uh, GitHub to transform uh, the KDE desktop environment, like uh, this one. I think uh, these projects are great, but uh, you risk to, to break something, and uh, I like to keep it uh, simple. So we just use basically uh, standard KDE uh, configurations, and uh, just like uh, some small tweaks to have uh, uh, a nicer interface with uh, uh, gestures and uh, other nice things uh, that you can do on your Linux desktop. So uh, this is, uh, let's see, center, okay. Uh, this is uh, KDE on uh, uh, Ubuntu Kubuntu 2004 but uh, it should work also on other Linux distributions and uh, yeah let's start with uh, the basic one the panels uh, these aren't the standard panels in uh, kde so uh, if you want uh, this kind of uh, um, alignment and uh, configuration you need to remove your old panels and make newer ones and so let's do it so at the panel, my advice is to uh, remove the old panel after you make the newer ones. So I make an empty panel. So this is uh, the empty panel. And uh, I add some widgets here. So I add some widgets. It's application menu bar. Okay. This is the application menu bar, but you need to close it to see the effects. Okay, it's this one. And then uh, let's try to add the other missing. Uh, okay, it should be the right one, I hope. Activity bar. No, let's see the, the name of the, this bar. So this is, uh, I, I don't remember, okay, it's a global menu bar, sorry. <laughs> so let's do edit again and we remove this widget and the new widget is add widgets. It's global menu bar. Uh, okay, it should work, maybe not. Okay, it, it works. We, we can have uh, two instances of the global menu bar. So when you have uh, an application open, uh, you can uh, pick uh, the menu from uh, where you have the menu bar. So this is a menu bar, uh, the menu bar, and it is uh, contextual. Uh, and it depends on the application that you have uh, the focus. So this is the terminal and uh, this is uh, uh, Chromium, so it's uh, different history. And uh, here we have uh, different uh, options. And uh, yeah, here we have uh, two, uh, two global menu bars, so I remove one. And uh, yeah, this is the, the correct one. Uh, then uh, you can add uh, other widgets, but uh, to, to save time, I, I won't add it uh, now, but you can also add uh, other widget here and uh, you just have to use uh, sometimes uh, the uh, spacer. So edit, 
you have to add the spacer which is uh, uh, how you can uh, uh, separate uh, the uh, different widgets uh, on a bar and uh, to have uh, this kind of uh, uh, icons uh, this is uh, the doc like uh, menu so you can do edit you can uh, move this panel to the right side so you hold the, the, the click and now we have uh, this panel on the right side and here we can add uh, the icon task only manager okay so we have uh, the icons and uh, yeah these are the same kind this is uh, the same kind of uh, widget uh, but uh, we uh, have a different uh, dimension so we need to uh, enlarge it to, to have uh, the same kind of uh, dimension so uh, width and we can make it bigger so basically it's the same behavior that we have uh, here and uh, we should also put it uh, in the center so uh, if I remove okay uh, more settings maybe and center no okay probably there is also a configuration to <laughs> center this kind of uh, widget okay I remove uh, this panel uh, just a little note uh, I didn't find uh, a, a way to not uh, overlap the two panels uh, so uh, when you click on this panel this panel goes uh, above the other one and uh, when I click this one uh, this panel go uh, be, uh, in front of the, this one so uh, you could uh, add just uh, some uh, widgets as a placeholder but uh, I didn't find uh, a better hack to deal with the situation with this uh, situation uh, the other part uh, is uh, the font I like uh, this kind of font so uh, let's remove this panel remove panel okay so to have uh, this font you go to fonts and this one uh, configure user interface fonts and these are the fonts that i'm using so it's uh, quite simple uh, i have uh, almost everywhere uh, product sans uh, font and uh, you can find it uh, on uh, Google Fonts or other places. It's a famous uh, font. And uh, I have uh, Arc Font 11 for the uh, terminal. So this is uh, the terminal. And uh, yeah, this is a basic command with the, the uh, kernel version here. And uh, yeah, so. We are talking about the terminal. I don't um, change much the behavior of the application, but for the terminal, uh, I just uh, changed the background. So from a solid color to a color with a blur and a little bit of transparencies. And you can do it in edit current profile appearance. And then you do edit. And here you can enable the blur background and the intensity of the uh, transparency. Uh, just use uh, apply if you want to uh, see the uh, behavior. And then use OK to, to confirm it. OK, so this was the terminal. The other uh, change I made is the uh, minimization effect. So I use the uh, magic lamp effect to open and minimize the window. And to do it, you do uh, effect. I'm, I'm pressing Alt and Spacebar to have this um, uh, yeah, uh, bar to, to type uh, the the software that you care. So uh, this is uh, desktop effect and uh, here it's uh, magic uh, 
like uh, lamp. So you can choose a different effect for minimization and this is uh, the uh, magic lamp effect which is uh, already available in uh, default uh, KDE. And the other one, oh, okay, this is uh, a little bit uh, more complicated because it's uh, lib input gesture, which is a third party software, but it's uh, very useful. Uh, so um, this is, uh, these are the settings under uh, config, yeah, config lib input gesture so this is the file i'm using and you need to install lib input gesture to have this feature and it enables the uh, multi-touch gestures so with the four finger down i can pick um, a window uh, i can choose a window without uh, doing alt tab or other tricks and the other one is a four finger up, so I can have multiple uh, desktops and uh, move uh, um, a window from a desktop to another one. And uh, as you can see, it works uh, uh, very fluidly. And uh, I also use uh, these uh, uh, gestures, this one, with uh, not four finger but three fingers. So uh, if you do uh, I don't know I go to another website uh, yum.org and uh, okay it's loading and now I want to go back so I do a free finger towards the left okay and uh, if I if I want to go forth I do a free finger towards right so I back to the uh, newer website and uh, this uh, uh, isn't specific for the browser it also works uh, in other uh, context and uh, as you can see uh, this is uh, the uh, shortcut that it is uh, mapped uh, in the gesture so uh, that's it these are mainly the um, changes I make to uh, my uh, KDE desktop environment uh, tell me what you think about uh, this uh, configuration and uh, give me a thumbs up if you found this video useful and see you in another one. Bye!